Want a more resilient metabolism? Stop doing this. In the next couple of minutes, I want to walk you through one of the biggest mistakes I see that is causing metabolic issues, contributing to weight gain, fatigue, low energy, migraines, hypertension, and even obsession with food. Send me a message after this video if you would like three additional personalized tips to improve your metabolism. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrea Nicholson, former crime scene investigator, now using the same investigative and problem solving skills to solve metabolic health challenges. So let's dive into the mistake I see so many people making when it comes to metabolism. And I made this mistake myself when I was first starting out. The mistake is eating small meals and frequent snacks every couple of hours. Now this is a common piece of advice in the health industry but it is the exact opposite of the proper way to improve metabolism. Every time someone eats something, the body has to respond. This response involves a whole slew of hormones and enzymes to break down the food, absorb the nutrients, use the fuels for energy, store excess fuels for long-term use, and eliminate wastes. One of the key responders to any food consumed is insulin. Insulin is most often thought of in two ways. One, as a drug that people with type 1 and sometimes type 2 diabetes take, and two, as the hormone needed to lower blood sugar. It actually has many, many more roles than that, but for this video, we'll just stick to this second role. Insulin lowers blood sugar by unlocking the door on cells to allow glucose out of the blood and into the cells where it can be used for energy. If that energy isn't needed right in the moment, the glucose gets converted to either glycogen or fat for storage. The body can only store a small amount of glycogen, but can essentially store unlimited amounts of fat. Insulin is released to varying levels every single time food is taken in. Higher sugar or starch foods produce the greatest insulin spike because they provide the largest glucose load. Insulin levels will remain elevated until the blood sugar levels have been appropriately handled. Digestion of food takes time, so this can occur over several hours. The problem with eating every couple of hours is the body never fully stops digesting or releasing insulin. This means that the levels of insulin remain elevated all the time. And when insulin is elevated all the time, the cells stop responding as well because they're already overloaded with glucose. The key no longer opens the door because the cells are at capacity. When they stop responding to insulin, resistance sets in. Insulin resistance is now being looked at as one of the underlying causes of nearly every chronic disease, diabetes, hypertension, PCOS, erectile dysfunction, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, many cancers, Alzheimer's disease, and so much more. The fastest and most effective way to reverse or prevent insulin resistance is to stop eating so frequently. Of course, the foods you eat at any time also matter, but simply going back to eating only meals can allow your body time to fully process the prior meal and return all hormone levels to baseline before eating again. What's the action here? Stop snacking. Stop eating every two to three hours. Go back to eating full real meals. Sit down for those meals. Focus on the meal. Eat in an undistracted manner. If you'd like me to send you three additional personalized tips to improve metabolic health, send me a private message. No opt-in, no sales pitch. Just value because I'm so passionate about helping people live their best, healthiest lives naturally.